Hey guys, you um, have a whole week off. They told me that uh, my two patients, which is true, my two patients were going to be on vacation. I decided to go ahead and um, and uh, let me start my two weeks early, which I was a little upset about, but uh, I decided to take it as a blessing and really take advantage of my weeks uh, off before I embark on my new job. My sister and I have been thinking of doing a... Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this new concept, but I saw it on TV and my daughter told me she saw a, a little write-up about it as well, and that is um, sort of a thrift store on wheels, sort of a fashion mavens on wheels. And um, that's what I think my sister and I are going to do because she has a big utility truck that her husband uses used to use for his former business. The old-fashioned kind of swap -arama, here's my stuff in the trunk, buy my stuff in the trunk, or junk in the trunk, <laughs> as one of my subscribers um, termed it. Anyway, my so daughters, my elder daughter, gave her some clothes that she thought she had um, gotten a little bit too mature. There's, there's a lot of things tagged. There's a lot of things that I found her at the thrift store that either don't fit her anymore or she just doesn't feel the need to wear them anymore. So uh, that's just one little pile that I want you to take a look at, and then I'm going to show it to you as I hang it up as well. All right, so this is my bar. This is the bar that's uh, in my living room, and I have been accumulating things here. As you can see, it's just a big pile of clothes that she just gave me. Uh, there are some things that I'm going to keep. And there's just things that I don't need, and I'm starting to accumulate for my garage. So some of these wine glasses I am going to either list. Type glasses that have Budweiser and things. Those I have listed on eBay uh, before they haven't sold yet I may relist them again and um, here's a little carpet art of the Kennedys and uh, just a whole slew of things but I will let you take a slower look at those clothes some of them are really fabulous and I just thought it would make an interesting video as to how um, a hoarder can get to this point where there's just so much and um, you have to have a clearance sale basically and I will have that sale. Oh and here is my stack of scrubs. I absolutely loved the job that I had. Um, I love the position. I love working with the patients that I worked with. Learned a lot from it but uh, I definitely it's time to move on and uh, that's what I'm doing. So I definitely liberated a lot of room in my closet, a lot of room in my head. I, uh, I know I'm gonna have a whole array of other stress-filled situations in my new job. We always do. Don't Change we? is always good, but it doesn't always mean that it's stress-free. So I'm ready for that. There's some but cute ones in there, and I hope someone um, who needs them will buy them at the Goodwill. All right, guys, this is what I was talking about, that uh, we're going to load up all of these clothes. This is just the start. This is just something my daughter cleaned out of her closet. A lot of these things are tagged. A lot of these things I had already thrifted. For her, but we have gotten overwhelmed. Her closet pretty much was bursting at the seams there. So definitely going to hit the streets with this. I, As I told you earlier that I had read about and heard about these um, thrift stores on wheels, sort of the taco truck um, craze, but for thrifting. And we're definitely going to do that. We're definitely going to do that. My sister has a huge truck that uh, we're not, we may not do it this weekend, but when we find where we're going to park this truck, we're going to load it up with all kinds of goods, whatever we can load up in there, everything from fashion to um, furniture. And um, starting with some of this stuff that I, I showed you that was piled up in my uh, bar. This is a really cute shirt by Apostrophe, and it's a pinstripe, three-quarter sleeve uh, skirt. And of course, I'll be pricing these to sell. I'm going to go for $2, a dollar. You know, of course, if something's tagged, I may sell it for 5 whatever, depending on what it is. But um, here's a little sundress also with little beads on it. Really cute tribal print on there. And um, black and white. I actually remember doing this, showing this one in one of my hauls, and this one as well. This is a Lucky Branch. It's a really pretty sort of a prairie look very pastel and uh, long sleeve with a triple ruffle there super super cute brand new and youth size isn't that cute all right and then this is just a little plaid shirt flannel and uh, some walking shorts from banana republic and um i don't know if this is a skirt or a 
little tube top dress, but it's just a little gray dress. And, oh, this is pretty. I remember I showed you guys this too. This is a vintage uh, satin skirt. It's got the prettiest little, I don't know, it reminds me of Art Deco or something. A really nice design there, and it is a very pretty rose. And it also has a little peak here. Here's a cute dress I wish fit, but I don't think it will. It's a small. And some of these dresses, I think I told you that uh, my daughter's friend gave her and also uh, my eldest daughter's friend gave her. Some of them were tagged. Here's one that's still tagged. And I guess she just didn't find them to her taste or some of them didn't fit her correctly. But this is a beautiful blouse. Um, gosh, I don't even know. It's got like an Asian label on it where they got this. But this is a beautiful blouse. I love it. I wish it fit. It is tagged still. I think it had a price of, it's, it's in another language, so I can't even read that. But um, isn't that pretty? Look at the lace detail on that. And then it's sort of satin, cream. But anyway, those are definitely going to go in our little taco truck turned thrift store. We're going to call it Taco Thrift. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't know what we're going to call it, but we are going to go do that. And then here's another really cute summer top, brown and white with a little bit of smocking all around. Love this top too, green satin. Uh, this, I believe, is by 21. I can't even read the label, it looks like it's faded. Maybe vintage, I don't know. But isn't that pretty? It's like a camisole style blouse with lots of rich beading on there. So this is what I'm talking about. I'm definitely gonna have a go at this new craze that I've heard about where people just put a thrift store in a truck and let's go and this is let's go sell some stuff um i don't know it looks like the label was taken off just a little knit top sort of beige pretty chiffon brown with sequins and a really nice gatsby sort of bow there on the side low slung bow there another beaded sort of a tube top lots of beads on here lots of design also um, got sort of this is charlotte russo and here is another really really cute thing this is sort of a romper this is so j low circa 1999 or something look how pretty that is this is linen white it's got two pockets in the back and who is this by this is gas of course isn't that gorgeous Love that. And then it's got the little gas logo in the back too on a metal thing with buttons all the way down. Definitely super cute jumper, romper, whatever they call these nowadays. Not jumper, romper, definitely. Okay, and then just a cute little t-shirt with a bunny or something on there. Um, another Hollister knit top. And uh, this is a snap shirt. I love this. I think this one actually is uh, pretty new this one really pretty chiffon top oh my gosh this is so cute this is another charlotte ruse this one also reminds me very much of something out of gatsby very feminine uh sort of almost a baby doll look to that isn't that cute ruffle all the way around um a hollister blue and white sort of a tuxedo neckline there a knit no label on it just sort of a low cut i think this is sort of a taupe like a dark taupe actually beatles albums i have a friend who loves the beatles she would love that that's when i remember showing you this from a garage sale haul i did last year and i think she found it a little big on the shoulders and uh, yeah really cute Maybe. but this is a lollapalooza collectible shirt. I do well on these. The Rule 92, Pearl Jam, Ice Cube, um, Red Hot Chili Peppers, all the biggies. We're going to take this thrift store to the streets. Like I said, I read about this in a magazine my daughter showed me and um, people doing thrift stores on wheels, um, you know, just fashion mavens on the streets selling their clothes, filling up their their trucks, their overfilled closet um, and uh, trying to sell it. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I hope it goes well. I'm gonna research I'm going to a uh, flea market to try to sell these um, or an antique mall. Mm -hmm. It'll go as far as Austin, 
make a weekend of it. I mean, I think we've got that much stuff. And I, like I said, I just showed you a tiny bit of stuff that I have. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. I thought I would just do this little insert to give you a heads up on what I'm doing this week. I'm um, doing a lot of videos. I just did one on a haul. And I thought I would do a little insert into the one I did about um, my excursion into the flea market business again or into basically uh, thrifting on the street, thrifting on wheels. I uh, am definitely taking advantage of this week off. They go went ahead and let me have one in advance of my notice. And uh, in a way, it's actually a blessing because my mother did take to being ill. She has a um, condition called labyrinthitis, which is an inner ear disorder. So she's uh, suffering dizzy spells and imbalance and things of that nature. So uh, in a way, I just wanted to really say how I feel like now this was definitely a blessing. This was definitely God's will for me to get that extra week off than I had anticipated because I'm definitely pampering my mom. I'm headed over there right now, baking her some cookies and taking her little Caesar salad and uh, just making sure she's okay. So, you know, I just wanted to kind of reiterate that, yeah, sometimes things are not the way we plan, but sometimes the plans that he has are so much better and um, definitely what we need to do. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I am going to the flea market. I've already posted my spot for this weekend. And wish me luck. I will definitely vlog from there and show you some footage if I can. I'll try to get somebody to do it for me because I don't want to leave my camera. Out and about, you never know. Sticky fingers are a Hi. bye. Cookies, don't they look lovely? I think they do. I would love to put some in that horrible looking plain yogurt that I'm having. I think I'll crumble some up and put them in there. But uh, no, I'm going to take most of these to my mom. They're oatmeal raisin. They're her absolute favorite. They're my absolute favorite. She's the one who showed me how to make I them. I always amp up the recipe a little bit. I put a little extra vanilla, extra cinnamon. And uh, this is yeah. why I hate making these cookies. They are so freaking good. I'm actually eating a cookie with yogurt, with plain Greek yogurt, because, you know, we want to be healthy. Mm, but man... These are so amazing. I think they call them vanishing oatmeal cookies in the box of uh, Quaker Oats. And boy, is it true. That's why I make them and I just give them away because I swear I will eat them all. They're that good. Whoa. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye.